if I see one more Nahamset clone walking me through a 30 minute XSS like it's a TED talk, I'm gonna lose it. Look, I get it. You're new. You find a tutorial, you follow along, and boom. You feel like you did something. But here's the trap. You didn't actually learn anything. You just copied homework from the smart kid and convinced yourself you're a hacker now. This is what I call tutorial hell. It's like Netflix for your brain. Feels productive. But you're not getting anywhere. I was there too. Trust me. I lived there. I had my little Kali Linux VM, my playlist of 37 beginner recon tutorials, and I still couldn't find a single valid bug. I had ethical hacker in my Twitter bio, but the only thing I ever exploited was my dopamine receptors. And then one day, I hit a wall. I realized every single tutorial was starting to feel the same. The same burp suite setup. The same look for login pages. The same Oh wow, we found a subdomain. I was watching reruns and pretending it was progress. And here's where most hackers plateau. They keep circling that tutorial drain, thinking if they just watch one more OWASP top 10 video, they'll suddenly become dangerous. They won't, and neither will you. The reason is simple. Hacking isn't about knowing things. It's about figuring things out. And tutorials don't teach you how to think. They teach you how to follow. The real turning point for me was when I stopped watching and started doing. I gave myself one rule. I can't watch anything I'm not actively trying to build, break, or fix. No passive learning. If I'm watching a tutorial, it's because I'm in the middle of an actual engagement stuck on a real CTF, or reverse engineering some cursed binary that makes me question my life choices. Everything else? Trash. Let me tell you what happens when you make this switch. First, it's terrifying. You open up Hack the Box and stare at a machine with zero context. No walkthrough, no hints. Just you and whatever weird services are running on some IP, your first instinct, run back to YouTube. But resist. Because this moment, this exact feeling of being completely lost, is where real learning begins. I started forcing myself into challenges I had no business doing. Reverse engineering crack me's that looked like they were written by a sleep-deprived wizard. Digging into GitHub repos with zero documentation and trying to find bugs. Joining invite-only hacking servers where people dropped zero days like it was casual conversation. I was in way over my head, and that was the point. Because something wild happens when you start learning in pain. Your brain actually starts wiring itself differently. When you have to Google 14 different syscalls to understand one line of assembly, you remember it. When you fail a CTF for 6 hours straight and then finally pop a shell because you realize the regex wasn't filtering dots, you own that knowledge. Compare that to following a tutorial where someone literally says, click here, now type this. You don't remember anything. You remember vibes. Here's what's even worse. The tutorial ecosystem has gotten so sophisticated that now you can binge an entire hacking career without ever touching a keyboard. You've got your morning coffee, your lunchtime podcast about the latest CVE, your evening Twitch stream of someone else solving a challenge. It's infotainment, and it feels like progress, but it's not. I know developers who've watched every React tutorial on YouTube and still can't build a simple app from scratch. I know security folks who can recite every CWE by heart, but freeze when they see a real-world application. They know the theory, but they can't apply it. They've memorized the map, but they can't navigate the terrain. And the creators know this. They know that teaching you how to think isn't as marketable as teaching you how to copy. That's why there are 500 tutorials on how to use Burp Suite, and almost none on how to develop your own methodology. One sells, the other doesn't. One makes you dependent, the other makes you dangerous. Now I'm not saying tutorials are useless. They're a great way to enter the room. But if you stay there, you're going to spend your whole career regurgitating someone else's notes. You'll never make your own connections. You'll never become dangerous. Let me give you a concrete example. Last year, I was working on a target with some weird custom authentication. Nothing in my tool belt was working. No tutorial had covered this exact scenario. I was stuck. So I did what any desperate hacker would do. I started pulling the JavaScript apart line by line. I spent three days just understanding how the authentication flow worked, not trying to break it yet, just understanding it. I drew diagrams. I wrote mini test cases. I annotated the code like a madman. 
By day four, I wasn't following anymore. I was leading. I started seeing patterns the developers probably didn't even notice. I found a spot where they were validating tokens client-side before sending them to the server. Classic mistake. But I would have never found it by following a checklist or watching someone else's methodology. The people I learned the most from, they don't post tutorials. They post bugs. They talk in hex. They operate on a different level. And it's not because they're smarter, it's because they stopped chasing content and started chasing understanding. Some of y'all have watched 40 hours of recon content and still haven't used Fuff in the wild. Others got Burp Pro installed but don't know what an intruder payload list actually does. That was me. Until it wasn't. I remember the first time I actually discovered a bug without following a recipe. It was a basic IDOR. Nothing fancy. But I found it because I was curious, not because I was following steps. I changed a parameter because I wondered what would happen, not because a checklist told me to. And that feeling, that moment of discovery, was better than any tutorial high I'd ever chased. That's the difference between consumers and creators in this field. Consumers follow. Creators explore. Consumers need roadmaps. Creators make their own paths. Consumers ask, how do I do this? Creators ask, I wonder what happens if... So if you're stuck in the same cycle, watching, copying, forgetting, here's the fix. Break something. Anything. Spin up a damn WordPress site and nuke it. Join a CTF. Fail spectacularly. Find a bug bounty program with zero dupes and go down with the ship. You won't get a write-up. You won't get hand-holding. But you will level up. Set up a home lab with intentionally vulnerable applications. Break them. Fix them. Break them again. Document your process. Then do it again without your notes. See what you remember. See what sticks. Join a CTF team where everyone knows more than you. Be the dumbest person in the room. Ask questions that make you feel stupid. Take notes. Go home and research every term you didn't understand. Come back sharper. The beauty of cybersecurity is that failure is feedback. Every failed exploit, every rabbit hole, every wild goose chase, they're all teaching you something. But only if you're the one doing the chasing. And let's talk about this celebrity hacker culture that's emerged. We've got influencers now. People with perfect lighting and script delivery showing you how they pound a box in 10 minutes flat. What they don't show you is the three days of frustration before that. The dead ends. The silly mistakes. The moments of doubt. They show you the highlight reel, not the practice. And that creates unrealistic expectations. You think you're supposed to understand everything immediately. You think if you can't solve it in 30 minutes, you're not cut out for this. Nonsense. Real hacking is messy. It's unglamorous. It's 3 a.m., energy drink in hand, surrounded by terminal windows and stack overflow tabs, wondering if you've wasted your life. And then, almost by accident, something works, and it all makes sense. That's the stuff they don't put in tutorials. That's the stuff you have to experience. And, yeah, sometimes I post a bug and people DM me like, bro, how did you find that? And I just say curiosity and pain. That's the sauce. That's what nobody wants to hear. Because it's not glamorous. It's not monetizable. But it works. Over time, you develop what I call hacker intuition. It's that feeling in your gut when something seems off. When a response header doesn't look quite right. When an error message gives away too much. When a form submission behaves just a little differently than you expected. But intuition isn't magic. It's pattern recognition built through experience. And you can't get that experience by watching. You get it by doing. By failing by trying again with a slightly different approach, by understanding why something failed, not just that it failed. The best hackers I know aren't script kiddies. They're strategists. They don't just run tools. They understand what the tools are doing. They don't just follow methodologies. They adapt methodologies to the target. They approach each system as a unique puzzle, not as another instance of a familiar pattern. And that's the level you want to reach, where you're not thinking, what tool should I use? But rather, what's the best way to understand this system? Where your first instinct isn't to run a scan, but to step back and consider the architecture, the business logic, the potential weak points. That's when you stop being a technician and start being a hacker. When you stop executing procedures and start solving problems. So, no. 
I don't watch hacking tutorials anymore, not because I know everything, but because I'd rather figure it out than follow along. And if you want to be one of the scary ones, you'll need to do the same. Cut the Netflix binge. Embrace the suffering. Welcome to the real game. The next time you feel that urge to watch just one more tutorial, pause. Ask yourself, what am I trying to learn? What problem am I trying to solve? And then go solve it. Without the training wheels. Without the walkthrough. Because the truth is, there's no tutorial for the zero day you're going to find. There's no video guide for the custom application you're going to break. The only way to prepare for the unknown is to get comfortable being uncomfortable. To develop the mental tools to approach any system, any code, any architecture with curiosity and persistence. That's what separates the script kiddies from the hackers. That's what turns watchers into doers. And that's how you build a career that's based on capability, not memorization. So turn off the video, close the walkthrough, open a terminal, and start breaking things. 